Hello, this is Hawk to Bean, and today we are going to tumble. <coughs> Excuse me. If you like this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get right into this. Controversial opinion, but I don't like black ooh raspberry jolly ranchers. I don't like raspberry flavor or anything after this one time that I found um raspberry tea and it tasted like crap. So here's the situation. I've been gnawing my way through a pack of blue raspberry jolly ranchers like a deranged rodent. And now oh I've stuck molars together and I'm They've been copied through my teeth until they're unstuck, and I don't know if I'm having a bad time or an average time, but it tastes really flavored. The second I unwield my jaw, uh, I'm eating another uh, Jolly Rancher. Is this person okay? No. Reckless news, everyone! I went to the dentist for the first time in a few years, and I have no cavities. No, I don't know how. Yes, I asked if they were really sure. Google search, what did they put in sports for us and make them hot as fuck? Boobs. What did you think it was? Cheese is just a loaf of milk. She's right, and I'm scared. This implies a lo liquid form of bread. Beer. Fuck! Damn it! Can't believe it. Tumblr is saying the same thing to My Little Pony as it did to Breaking Bad, but in the opposite direction. <sighs> Tumblr Breaking Bad. Jesse, we gotta get your tea refilled before the riot closes or it's going to ruin our weekend antiquing plans. Tumblr My Little Pony. Uh-oh, guys. Rainbow Dash is already to set Taco Bell on fire because the city finally shut off her electricity. Dude, TikTok has that, like, completely messed up My Little Pony. But their weird freaking virus is alternate universes. I love reading them, don't get me wrong. They are fucking. They are insanely fun to read sometimes. But damn, do they get it, it weird sometimes. Took this photo a while back, and now I can't unsee it. We are number one. <laughs> I just realized we don't even know what dinosaurs sound like. They could have been speaking fluent German for all we know. It's too early for this. Goose and Morgan and and her a pterodactyl. We get from Mastodon. I don't know oh how to speak German by the way. If I got that wrong. Just tell me and Except that it's gonna be wrong. Oh my god, neither of those are dinosaurs, and there's 145 million years separating them both. This post is a logical disaster. Maybe. Maybe the dinosaurs invented German. Really funny to me that Rainbow Six Siege players are toxic but in specific ways. They do not care if you play a character that's trans or non-binary, but they will care if you pick an annoying one. They can handle the game, hey, but they cannot ha fucking stand if you have bad aim. Honestly, that sounds great.
<laughs> Jumping from child care to private security really messes with you. I keep saying, oopsie daisy, and encouraging drunk folks to go home, drink some water, and take a nap. And let's try again in 24 hours, okay? Best part by fall art is that it's working. Guy went like he was going to fight the, the other day, and his buddy said, You leave the light nicely alone. I did not accidentally say white. I did not just say that. I am so sorry. Incredible! Good for you! I remember being a, a nanny to bartending and actually put a whole bachelorette party in timeout. 100% recommend. It was great. So the ID thing there. Oh well. The body regenerates after 14 minutes. Behold, my regenerative pussy blast! 432 OHC. Some girls can only get up with re well, it's a, a lit. It's a bit it's like a quieter jet. to the clit. What the fuck did I just say? Oh. One of these. That's great. I sure do love when these things take forever to load. Or just don't. Look at that not loading it's doing. Dream of a post apocalyptic zombie story. I had a dream last night that I was playing this game. The best way I can describe it is that it's like a hybrid between the Oregon Trail and Telltale's Walking Dead games. Each run consists of me getting a random character in a random situation with the goal of choosing a destination and surviving the experience. The Telltale part comes... I'm sorry, every time I made a choice, the game would generate cutscenes from the first person's perspective where I could interact with other characters and make more decisions and roleplay as this new character I was controlling. Most of my runs did end in, in failure earlier early on, but there were two that made progress. The first half and when I realized the meta strat was to push for characters that had marine experience and access to selling such shipbuilding, so I could get my characters to sell to an island that was extremely safe from the zombies. On this is attempt, my character rolled with pet orcs that gave him superpowers similar to Marvel's Wolverine. Enhanced strength, speed, eat, senses, reflexes, a healing factor that slowed down aging, and some kind of magical blade weapons that weren't claws. The zombies have sold his way to the island. Finally, some good RNG. The game that entered a telltale mode, the story was that because of the island's safety, it has been generations since anyone had seen a zombie. My character, because of his lack of aging, was the only person with memories of zombies on the mainland. The island's community had made farms, one of which was for pigs. The zombie infection apparently reappeared on the farm and was capable of jumping species. I remember thinking during a dream that this reminded me of Amanella and how it jumped from pigs to humans. The pigs are mostly unaffected, but one of them bit his family's dog. The dog began to turn uh, into the zombie infection. The family refused to put down the dog because it believed it wasn't a zombie inf infection. My character kept trying to warn them, but he couldn't give away the fact that he was super old with superpowers and had seen zombies before. So he was unsuccessful. So he basically hunkered down in his basement away for the inevitable. Sure enough, the dog eventually turned, bit some humans, and the zombie infection spread across the island. My character decided that rather than escaping get to find a new community only to face another heartbreak when the infection reappeared, he would wander earth and the earth in secret and kill zombies because his powers make him immune and essentially immortal. Hopefully to help humanity out, his story ends with him staying out on this mission. This small time I'm skipping and you see people discussing rumors of a mysterious zombie hunter that goes to zombie infested area. As clears him out and leaves before anyone could see or even thank him. Then the credits rolled. Hey, the zombie apocalypse could come 
I'm back here. You gotta believe me. The second story I remember was apparently set in an alternate timeline to the first one. I play a Zinger character with similar powers to the first character. Except in this story, this character was forced to be controlled by these abusive guardians who used them to clear zombies and extort other people. The final sequence before I woke up was from this character's POV where he was remembering all the people he knew that had died and was considered either running away or committing suicide. I remember I actually started feeling this character's memories and sadness so intensely that I had jolted away. Well. I think we're just gonna move on. Because that got really sad at the end. Body positivity has largely failed because people started arguing for attractiveness and romantic prospects instead of respect and dignity. Nobody needs to find anybody attractive, but everybody deserves to find all physical flaws insignificant when judging a person's worth. This is truly the best summary so I mean, of what all of this should be about. I mean, that's what it's about for me. Is it not like that for everyone? I will always expect you to be... To have one thing, one disorder, one pet, one gender, one pronoun, and one name, one favorite movie, one crush, one best friend. Like, why do I have an inventory limit? Fuck, I just tried to pick up a second best friend, but I can't make, make him fit. <laughs> you dipshit. Basic inventory management, y'all. Best friends are... Are a 4x6 object. They take up a lot of room, but you could fit multiple in. A friend of mine got tops it, or he had to his nipples. Like he had a mole next to one, and after he started read, the mole was on the other side. Oh my god. The old switcheroo! Let's go. Oh no, I can't read it like this. I have to do that. For both of them. Can a dog shush? Alright. <sighs> Whenever it wants to load. This is going to be a 20 minute video because as the internet wants to be slow today. How to spot a smear campaign. Victims' crimes will be enlarged, even if they're small missteps. They'll be treated as if the yo as if only the worst person on the planet would do such a thing. Oh no. I didn't go oh and trust my dogs. I'm such an evil person, right? Accusations and against the victim will always be a reach, aka they did this little old thing, but it actually means they're a racist, murderer, genocide, I support a fascist, have blood on their hands, even when the Person's actions have never conformed to the, those crimes. All and any actions of the victims will be misinterpreted in the worst possible way. Anything the person does will be taken as an offense, and the decision will be read as hostile and manipulative, regardless of here how clear they are. All victims' actions will be taken out of context, i.e. victims sensibly cruel to someone, but they take out context of the victim being abused, threatened, tortured, forced into defensive but in finding attacking out of desperation to defend themselves and get free. The victim will commonly get provoked into giving a bad reaction. And when get, it's offensive if they're accused of the crimes they've never did, or simply a trickling in, in, insult until they snap. And the reaction will become the new proof that the victim is in fact evil and guilty. A lot of pressure will be put on you to react correctly to the smear campaign. If you don't... A, Except to demonize this person at once, you're getting scrutinized. Shame for your lack of morality. Told that you support all these horrible things and that you are just as despicable. You'll notice people all getting together based on their, their demonization of the victim. 
They will set a standard where you're accepted and, and welcome only if only you will demonize and hate this person. But you don't. You're blocked, cast out, and accused of causing harm. Sounds like something that happened to a VTuber. I won't say who. I'm not gonna uh, fall into your or, or tricks. It'll feel very easy to accept to demonize this person, and going against it will feel risky, like going against the grain, dying the word of the many, and risking being demonized yourself. The smear campaign continues all the way until the victim is chased out of the community and divided the voice, even if the victim commits no further crimes. Awful things will be said about them, their past misdeeds, until you brought up until the... Oh. That's why there's two. Yay, more loading. And more reading. Should probably disable tab snoozing. That's how the victim is commonly believed to be worthless and becomes completely isolated and scared of society and alone. There will be no limit to what it is considered okay to do to the victim of, of a spear campaign. Even the victim is accused of minor bad behavior. It will become okay to threaten, insult, or shout slurs, trigger, provoke, humiliate, manipulate, and repeat any kind of abusive behavior to the victim. All because they're bad, so they deserve it. Where are you getting the, this idea that uh, my space is low? People leading the smear campaign will, will switch between being extremely grossed out and rage to showing absolute joy and satisfaction when they find a new reason to demonize and smear the victim. People truly horrified of someone's actions do not get a leave of joy of a new disaster happening. They're not besides themselves to abuse the perpetrator all over again. It will never ever be acceptable to show any mercy to the victim. Forgiveness is out of the question. Trying to understand them is out of the question. Even reading or listening to what this person is saying will be banned and forbidden, unless it's for humiliating purposes. They will be shown as absolutely irredeemable, and associating yourself with them as evil and unforgivable. You will be instructed to block or, or unfollow or report or the person based on what you're told, without any significant proof. Do not fall for smear campaigns. It's uh, if a large amount of people all agree that a person is the worst, but their story is exaggerated, out of context, sounds fictional, and doesn't show any proof, and people will, will, will switch from being enraged to eager, doubt it. Participating in a smear campaign will help the abusers isolate and abuse someone, and you do not want to be a part of it. They will also smear anyone who stands up to their abuse. So you're helping the abusers to create a place where pointing your abuse gets you cast out of the community. Didn't think about it, but I think there is one smear campaign that the entirety of the internet, if you know about this person, commonly um, takes part in. Or at least, it was a smear campaign until it got way worse and the person behind that was getting, that was victim of it actually did something absolutely horrible. Anyway, yo, does anyone know what's the THC percentage of a chicken pot pie? Because you gotta put a pot in chicken pot pie, right? Okay, I think this is gonna be the last one. God, I love people who refer to anything as an adventure. While I go on an adventure, go to McDonald's for ice cream at 1 a.m. It's me. I am people. Speaking of, I think that's the end of our little adventure today. If you like this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, so until then, goodbye!